Welcome back everyone, Dustin here again, Average Guy Hi-Fi with another kind of a different uh, video for you guys, but I wanted to kind of give people out there a beginner's guide to actual TV size comparisons. When you get them in the, look at them in the store and things like that, it's a little bit hard to tell, but I, many of you have done this. You buy it at the store and you bring it home and you're like, oh my gosh, that thing is huge. So, and then I also wanted to just give you an idea of kind of quality when you kind of reach next levels of uh, TV. So this is again, real beginner's guide. So. I reset both TVs to the factory settings, turned off the um, power saving modes in both of them, put it on standard, just kind of how most people um, from my experience kind of run these TVs right out of the box again, average guy uh, uh, for this channel. So it's not calibrated. Some of you ask, will, you know, some of you will ask me if I got them calibrated and all that stuff. And I will uh, once I know what TV to choose, but doing it for this video just didn't make any sense to me. So what I'm sitting here in front of, which is probably driving you guys a little bit crazy, uh, is a uh, the one in the background there that is a uh, an LG 86 UK 6570 PUB. And that's kind of a mouthful there, but that is an 86 inch uh, 4K Dolby Vision um, LCD TV. And what's in front of me or right behind me here is the um, LG C9 65 inch OLED TV. So you can already kind of see the differences here. But um, I've been what I wanted to do was see if I could buy a bigger TV that was lesser quality. I got a really good deal on it. I think I have about $1,300 into that um, that LCD. Ended up picking it up at a pawn shop. I had to rent a truck, so maybe a little bit more than $1,300, but that's basically um, what I have into it. And I wanted to kind of compare uh, the overall viewing experience uh, from my smaller TV, see if it'd be worth it maybe to go down in quality and get a bigger TV. And then at the end of the video, I'll give you guys my impressions. So um, again, that's an 86 inch TV right there. And this one right here is a 65 inch TV, just so you can kind of see the difference. I put this camera, the reason I'm sitting here in kind of a funny angle, exactly where I would normally be sitting uh, if nobody else was over here, just watching by myself, uh, which is about seven, six and a half, seven feet from uh, the TV to the, to the phone here, which is what I'm using as my camera. So that's my seating distance. And many of you will have, uh, you probably read online where, where you'd recommend sitting, but I like being close to my TVs. I think um, it gives you a little bit more of immersive uh, experience when you do that, especially if you have a little bit of a smaller TV. So again, six and a half, seven feet is usually where my head is compared to where the TV is at. I've been running this um, LG C9 OLED TV for about two years now, maybe somewhere in that range, but I've just loved it. Loved it ever since I picked it up. And then I just really am enjoying my time with that 86 inch TV behind me. So um, again, just wanted to give you guys a visual representation of size difference. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna show you just uh, uh, the kind of the, the menu screen of the movie Oblivion on both TVs. I'm not gonna move the camera. Uh, I'll show you the um, 86 inch TV first, and then I'll show you the uh, C9 OLED TV and let you guys kind of uh, decide which ones you like the picture of better. Um, and see if it's more, you know, because this camera is right where my eyes would normally be, that's why I did this so you guys can see the more immersive uh, experience you get with the larger TV. And then at the end of the video, I'll show you which one I ended up deciding to keep, uh, just so you guys can have a, a comparison. Will I choose quantity, size, over quality? Uh, those are, because those are a little bit different. I mean, obviously an 86 inch TV, it's an expensive TV to begin with, but an OLED TV that was 86 inches would be like $10,000. And I think this, um, you know, they had this a sale on this uh, this 86 inch LED, or yeah, LED over the years there. And it looks like it was kind of selling around 2,000, 2,500. Um, and then uh, it could be had cheaper than that. So before we, uh, you know, just just let you guys to make your own decision on your own. I'm not, there's not a right or wrong here. And then I'll just show you what I ended up choosing. Some people might do the opposite. They might kind of, um, go smaller to go more quality. They might go bigger uh, to get more screen size over quality. And then you guys just make your decision so you have a little visual representation here. So uh, stay tuned, we'll show you Oblivion again on the 86 inch TV. And then I'll show you the Oblivion uh, menu scene on the OLED TV. And then I'll pop back over here and told you tell you guys which one I ended up deciding to keep and which one's getting sold.
Well, first things first, I would highly recommend anyone out there that's deciding to move these larger TVs uh, by yourself to um, not do it by yourself. The 86 inch TV and the 65 inch OLED TV without hurting them, obviously. You could do it if you could be a little bit rougher with them, but not the easiest uh, maneuvers there, but it's probably why I'm a little bit sweaty here. But wanted to get this video out so I can sit back and kind of enjoy my, uh, my C9 OLED TV again. So. As you guys can see behind me, I ended up cho choosing the 65 inch uh, OLED over the 86 inch LCD. You know, the, I, if you have a farther away viewing distance, then I can see why you would go with an 86 inch TV over the OLED, but the dynamics of the OLED TV are just, I mean, the black levels, the picture quality, the, the edge lit, um, now that I'm used to an OLED TV, that was the first thing when I plugged that 86 inch uh, TV in, was just seeing the edge lit around the the bezel that actually kind of got to me and also the window you know the movie box where uh if you watch a, a movie where they have the boxes on the bottom and the on the top uh those were kind of washed out a little bit too due to that edge lit so oled all day for me the really what i really learned from this video was that now unfortunately i want a larger oled tv i did love the fact that that um, 86 inch tv you turn the lights off you're sitting good and close you kind of have to look up and look down when um, there's action scenes going on it's just that immersive i mean it's a very big panel as you guys saw behind me and that was the reason for this video show you guys what real uh world tvs look like uh in your actual living rooms and in, hopefully if you have a theater if you're one of those lucky few but this is my living room. I'm in 600 square feet. So you walk in, that TV was a little bit of an embarrassment. So um, it was basically due to just, I'm also a kind of an aesthetics guy. I like my place to look nice and neat and things like that. And that TV was a little bit overbearing for this room, but um, it was mainly the picture quality. That was definitely the reason that I ended up keeping the uh, OLED TV. That picture quality of that 4K Dolby Vision LG TV was, was just fine. But when you compare them side by side, uh, it, it is uh, that's where you really notice the difference in quality and when you go to the stores it, sometimes you can tell that too but they bump those uh, levels up they make them kind of overexposed a lot of times things like that so I don't know in my room getting it set up again these are just the factory settings because I wanted people out there to have a realistic view of this I didn't calibrate anything I'll probably um, kind of one of my next steps here I'm learning die rack right now uh, is I might just bring in somebody to have uh, everything calibrated um, for my main system and then when I swap out speakers like that right there that's a another set of speakers that I'm getting ready to review uh it's the Vienna Acoustic Weberns but that way when I have my main speakers I can have like exactly how they should be set up and then when I swap those out and bring in other speakers I'll just run Dirac um off the normal settings and then listen to them that way and then when I swap my main speakers back in which again some of you guys know this it's the Klipsch Ultra 2 uh, the KL 650 THX uh, front threes are, are my main speakers there. So um, subwoofers are kind of mixing in and out. I'm trying to decide. Might be the H the Shu uh, ULS 15 MK2s, but I also picked up that SVS um, SB 4000 uh, a couple weeks ago. So that'll be review will be coming up along with these Weberns. But kind of rambling on. But I, again, I know this video is a little bit different. But I wanted to just show you guys. Hopefully, this will be kind of a beginner's guide out there for people that are trying to make that decision. Ultimately, it came down to my viewing distance. Sitting six, seven feet from the from the TV is uh, pretty close, so a 65 inch could be nice and immersive. If you're farther out, say you're out there nine, 10, 12 feet, something like that, it might be worth it to compromise a little bit on the quality of the picture. It still has beautiful 4K picture, that 86 inch TV, everything looked good, but ultimately the black levels, the edge lighting, uh, things like that, it just added up to where I kept the OLED, which is, again, uh, when I purchased that 86 inch TV at a pawn shop, I was thinking that it would um, just be temporary, but I ended up keeping it, I don't know, I probably had it in here about six weeks now. It was just really hard to get let it go at a dark room uh, when you're, you got this, the, it kind of turned up nice and loud for a movie, things like that. It is a very immersive, but ultimately it came down to the quality for me. So again, I know this video was a little bit different, but I needed to get it done because honestly, I want to get my $1,300 back out of that, uh, that TV there. Um, and then I've got some other stuff that I need to review for you guys. I got some JBL 530 bookshelf speakers. I've got some Anthony Gallo speakers. I've got some CAF. I know you guys have been requesting those CAFs, but they're just a little satellite version. So not the nice quality stuff that you guys are really used to. I mean, they're still nice quality, but I think when I mentioned CAF, it kind of uh, piqued a lot of people's interests out there. So 
Um, again, my name is Dustin. Uh, the name of the channel is Average Guy Hi-Fi. I'm just trying to make uh, content that I would have appreciated maybe if I was a beginner out there um, or just if I like watching videos like I, I am right now. Again, Cheap Audio Man, I keep giving throw out shout outs to him, Youth Man. Um, there's a lot of people out there. Golden Ear Audio, there's a few people out there that you got to really check out. And I'll put some of the links to their videos in there just so you can pop over there and say hi to them for me and kind of help spread the word on their channels as well too. So uh, again, thank you guys very much for stopping by. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, kind of size comparison, size versus quality comparison when it comes to TVs.